everybody. Today in my hand, I'm holding something that just, just, just arrived. The FMG Cashmere Complexion Powder Foundation. This is something I've been dying to try. It's a two-in-one, meaning that you can get the coverage you want for any skin type. You can get the foundation and you can set it all at the same time. And on a hot day like this, perfect time to try it out. Who is with me? Hi everyone. So in my hand, I'm holding something that I hope will travel from your screen to my bathroom, to my purse, and many more of those rounds. Why? Because it's our new FMG Cashmere Complexion Power Foundation. So this powder foundation is actually a two-in-one. You can apply the foundation to your face. You can also use a very sheer coverage or you can build it up to a medium coverage, build it up even further. And you can even use this to set exactly the same coverage you just put on. On this hot day, I thought it would be great to test out also how much I can pile on before it looks cakey and how long it would last. So let's get to it. First, let me open this up. Again, I just got this one. So by the way, for you, I am wearing no makeup on my skin. That's right, I have got nothing on my skin. So this is my nervous moment because I don't like to look like this, but I look like this today. And I'm gonna get up close and personal and look at my skin tone, which is not looking so great today. You can tell I just had a migraine that came up. So what I call little horns right here are really, really visible. So that might be a bad or a good time to try to see how much coverage this baby actually provides. But I wanted to open it up first. So it's still plastic on it. I love beautiful packaging like this. Cashmere Complexion by FMG. It's beautiful compact. So I'm going to take the plastic off. So now it's been touched. And you have a pressed powder foundation right here. But we all like little presents. So this is kind of cool. When you lift it up, you get a sponge. I know it's not much of a present, right? But this sponge is actually what you apply the foundation with if you want to apply it wet. Yes, you can apply this wet or dry. So depending on what coverage you would like, what finish you want, that's all that we're gonna try on today. So I got this shade and this is in shade N110. So I don't know if I picked the right shade because I just clicked on the first item that was available because actually it's just becoming available now to buy. So we're gonna find out if I got the right shade. We're gonna find out whether it works. I even have a mask for you because well, we're all wearing these at this time. So we're gonna also test it out whether it transfers on or stays on my skin. Okay, so we are introducing a very unique product. This is an effortless, portable, multi-use pressed powder foundation, and it can be worn wet or dry for a natural, soft focus matte finish. So what's more, because we want more, it is richly infused with skin-loving ingredients. So we're focusing on skincare benefits in our makeup. I know that's been a weird way of saying it, but we're either willing to pay more for a product that does more, or we're just simply expecting more. As the years go on and evolve, we learn more about technology, we learn more of uh, what products can do for us. So while many, many years ago, 
we were fine with having makeup that looks good but now we're looking at the new trends the k-beauty especially who, that are known for their amazing technology of makeup that actually is good for you that has skincare benefits so that has been where all these trends are going and it's raising all of our expectations with it we want makeup to not just make us look amazing but also make our skin under that makeup be amazing i know it sounds like a tall order but it's actually where the trends are going and we're asking for it we're receiving it so once again we're focusing on the skincare benefits we're focusing on the natural finish so the base makeup products are continuing to blur the line between makeup and skincare and the focus is on revealing healthy youthful and glowing skin not just instagram makeup skin but actually healthy skin from inside and outside so with this cashmere complexion compact powder foundation we are having a product that is richly infused with skin loving ingredients as well as amino acid coated pigments so this formula helps to control shine it keeps your complexion looking fresh and so perfected with long lasting wear. The Cashmere Complexion Compact can be used as a foundation and as a buildable setting powder. But also the ingredients here take care of your skin while keeping you looking flawless. So you want a foundation that can provide you with coverage, buildable coverage. You want a foundation that can also be a setting powder, and not just a setting powder, but a buildable setting powder. And at the same time, be good to your skin. And I have this in my hand, ready to try it out. How's that for suspense? So ingredients that your skin will love, vegan collagen, that helps the skin looking supple and fresh. Chamomile extract helps to soothe skin and provide antioxidant benefits. Lavender oil and artichoke extract both help to provide skin with antioxidant benefits. Shine controlling amino acid coated pigments. All right, so the concept of this foundation is to give you a buildable sheer to medium coverage. You have a multi-use formula, so you can apply the powder wet and create more coverage or use a dry for a lighter but buildable coverage as well. And you can also use this as a setting powder. And the finish on this is a soft matte, which is really hard to describe. It's not a matte finish, but a soft, natural matte your everyday beautiful skin. This is amazing because it will work great for any skin type. We're talking about dry skin, we're talking about combination skin, we're talking about normal skin of course, and we're talking about oily skin. Everybody that wants beautiful skin and minus the shine with a soft matte finish. So on top of this, we have 16 shades available. So there is one just right for you. But before you find your right shade, you need to find the right undertone. And I have been finding my undertones wrong for a long, long time. So today I am actually going to teach you how to find yours and very quickly. Okay, so for many years, the way I've learned is you find your undertone by the jewelry you typically wear. So if you wear silver jewelry or platinum jewelry, diamond jewelry, you are a cool tone. If you wear gold jewelry, you're typically neutral. If you wear rose gold or a lot of gold jewelry, especially like a 24 gold jewelry, you're a warm tone. And you know what? 
I wear gold jewelry. I love gold jewelry. And sometimes culturally we wear gold jewelry too. Uh, that is my culture, gold wedding rings. So I have always bought foundations that are warm toned. And turns out that that doesn't work that way because a jewelry could be just a preference. So what I'm going to get you to do is a little bit of an exercise. It's a little weight loss because we're going to do some lifting. So raise your right hand and swear to tell the truth. Okay. Now raise your right hand right here. Now I'm going to turn mine because I need to look at it and you're going to do the same thing. So, and I'm going to show you on mine because I've already looked at my hand. But right here where you see your veins coming down, look at the color of your veins. Really look at them. So do you see like a purplish blue colored veins? If you do, and that's mine right there, you are cool tone. So I've been wrong for a lot of years. That is cool tone. If your veins are blue but bluish green, you are neutral. Now, if your veins are on a green olive side, you have warm tone. So those are your undertones and they really help you figure out the, the foundation shade because the undertone really changes things up. Having the wrong undertone, it just looks off and you start to play with different shades and you can't figure out what it is, cause, but, but you have the right shade. It just simply might be the wrong undertone. You can still make it work, but when you get the right shade and the right undertone, you got magic. So I bought my foundation and the only color was available at that time, which is N110, N being a neutral. And we just talked about it. I'm not neutral. I am cool. I am very cool. So I am exchanging this one for a C1110, so a cool one. But for now, I'm going to see if I can make it work. So I'm going to open it, I'm going to look at it, and I'm looking at my skin, and step one is prep time. No foundation is ever going to look good if your skin doesn't. So prep time is your skincare routine. I've done mine, I've got moisturizer on, I've done all that stuff. So make sure your skin is well hydrated, and if you need more information about hydration or moisturizers I have videos on that but I have that on so now we're going to get a primer now I do have a video on primers as well and how important it is to prime your skin before you apply any foundation so I'm actually going to apply primer right in front of you like I said this is live and personal so this is a VDL belief Glow Moist Primer. I've actually never used this one, but it is a primer with a lot of hydration. And I thought that since this is a matte kind of foundation, I need some hydration. Plus, it's such a hot day. I've been sweating. My skin is dehydrating. Dehydrated. Ted. So we're going to get a little bit of a primer. It's got this little gel texture. You don't need a lot, just warm it in your hands, and I'm just going to put it where I need it. My skin is very dry around my nose and my, let's call them laugh lines, and my cheeks. So that's kind of where I'm going to put it. And I'm going to put a little bit on the side of my head and a little bit on my chin. So you want your your skincare to absorb, then you want your primer to really absorb well as well. And again, you don't need a lot, but you need it. Now, I like to get more. I'm one of those people, I like more. So I'm gonna double prime. You don't have to, this is an extra step, but I like to double prime. So you've seen me talk about it, the tone up primers, these are color correcting primers those little annoying red spots on my face. I want to see if I can 
dull them down a bit and green is going to cancel red a little bit. Again, you don't need a lot. This is how much I'm using. It's, I'd like to say pea size amount, but it's not even half of a pea size amount. So I'm just going to dot it right there on those little lines. And I usually like to use my finger, but what the heck for today, I'm just going to use a foundation brush to really tap that in. And I'm going to let that absorb while I tell you a story about my day. That's going to take an hour. Just kidding. I know you're just anxious to see this and so am I. So you just need to let it absorb for a few seconds. We don't need a few hours. So how do we do this? If I put it on, you're not going to see the difference between how it would look with different foundations. So I thought I'm going to put a liquid foundation on one side of my face and then this foundation on another side of my face. Then we're going to compare. But before we go with the liquid foundation, I just want to show you uh, the different coverages. So as we talked about, you can have a sheer coverage, you can have a buildable medium coverage. So how do you describe coverage to someone who doesn't really know and never tried different ones? Oh, I had one of our field sales trainers that did a great job describing it. So if you are at least my age, at least my age, maybe a little bit younger, not uh, naming numbers here, if you've ever worn pantyhose, nylon, stockings, whatever you want to call it, you know that they are sheer. You can see your legs through them. So that's sort of the same with foundation. It gives you that sheer wash of color, just enough to cover up a little bit and get you ready out the door. And if you're wearing something like leggings, they still hug everything and look really cute with a nice top, but they cover more than our pantyhose. And that is a medium coverage. Now, if you want, full coverage, you're going into jeans or pants. So I hope that analogy helps you because it really put that into simple terms for me. Sometimes dummy proof is awesome. So we're going to do a sheer coverage. I'm going to show you what sheer coverage looks like. We're going to take this foundation. I'm going to use a brush and I actually have a blush brush. I don't know why it just happens to be the one I grabbed. What we're going to do is we're going to take a brush, we're going to go down, just down this way, and apply to the skin. Maybe one more. What the heck? So I'm only doing this to the my right side of my face. So right there, if you look at a close-up, that is a sheer wash of color. If I wanted to do that all over my face, that would be enough for me to just go on errands. Simple enough, that's your pressed powder. It just takes down the shine, covers a few imperfections, and easy to get out the door. And yes, normally my hair would be down and all that stuff, but I figured I'd put it up to make it easier to put makeup on. So that sheer wash of color looks pretty good. I like it. And normally that would be my everyday, to be honest. But today's about trying, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to use my Cashmere Complexion Foundation. And this is a matte foundation as well, so I thought they would be very comparable. And this is in the shade Cannoli, which is actually my shade. I'm going to... Put this on my left side so you can tell what I'm doing. This does have an applicator. I don't put foundation all over my face. That's just too much product for me. I just start in the middle of my face, kind of put a few dots where I need to. And then I take a beauty blender or a makeup applicator, whatever we choose to call it, Never use this dry. Never tug it down your skin. It does not work. So what we're going to do, I'm not near a sink, is we're going to put this in the water. 
because we're going to use a damp. So we want to wet it and we're going to wring it out very well just to get it nice and damp. Not wet, but nice and damp. See how it gets bigger? It's going to absorb the product and it's going to make it easier to blend all over the skin very smoothly. So I'm just going to use this mirror and I'm just going to use this to dab all through my face. I don't want to use a lot because it's already a matte finish. So I like to really tap. Again, we don't want to drag and that's the way I've learned to do foundation is to tap, 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 tap until you fully blend it out. And don't want to smudge my brows, which I did do somewhat. Very hard to do half of your face, by the way. So if I need a little more coverage, and I know there's a spot I need a little bit more right here, I'm just going to do that. And blend it out and I always go just a bit down my neck if you match your shade well it should be the same shade but I like to go down my neck just a tiny bit to make it all look like my skin but better and down half of my nose that's kind of weird but half of my nose and half of my chin and there we have one side with a matte liquid foundation. And I know it looks great. I love that foundation. It's okay to love more than one thing though, right? I mean, I've been trying to tell my husband that. He's not budging. So now we're gonna use this powder compact foundation. And I'm gonna use it wet. So we're going to take the sponge that's in here and it's the same as the beauty blender. We're just going to wet it and wring it out. So again, same way, you want it damp. So nice damp. And again, we're going to hold it and we're going to swipe down. Just get enough coverage and you can pat it into the skin or just apply it any way you like. I, I'm finding I can really play with this. Half of the nose, start from the center of the face and just go out, down past the neck and the forehead. So that is one layer, one coverage. And both sides are kind of looking pretty good equally. If you need more, you can always swipe down. And we're going to apply more just because we're really testing this out today. So we're going to apply more. From the center of the face, we're going to blend it down. Get the chin. And get a little bit more because my forehead is... Not my best feature today. Okay, so now we did two coats on this side. I'm going to use the word coats. Two layers. So I'm going to take the sponge and put it right back in the compact. So a little tip, if you put it on top, it just won't close. So put it right back in there and this formula is designed that it will not mold or anything like that. It dries so fast, so your sponge is very safely tucked in. And I know we used it damp on the surface, but if you look at it, it's already dry. So I love that. I do. So now that we have kind of an even layer, we can set our foundation and for me, setting has always been a difficult thing. I have, as I mentioned, dry skin. So I'm always afraid that powder is going to settle into lines and just 
not look so great. That's my fear. So I'm going to try setting this. And setting is basically making sure that your foundation stays on. So typically, we would get some setting powder and put it into mostly our oily areas. You can put it all over the face, of course, but I typically would put it on my forehead, um, maybe in my T-zone, a little bit on my chin because I get some oil right here. Let's take a look. Close up. No, hasn't settled. I think I like it. So I promised you today would be fun because we're going to play around with this and we will. So I just set my foundation, but what the hell? Let's set it again. Now I know you're thinking, how many layers is she going to put on? And that's the whole point. I'm going to cake this on. I'm going to put so many layers until it starts to be heavy and cakey. I'm going to really put this to work. So this is coat number, what, three, four, I think four. And you know what? This is so weightless that it does not feel like makeup. I don't actually feel like there's four layers on me. But I'm going to put it aside for now because let's say I'm going to move on to my next step. Concealer. I'd like to pretend I have no flaws, but you're right here watching me, you know better. So, I don't use a lot of concealer, and it's not an Instagram photo. So, I just want to put it in the shadows I have right here. And I like to put a little bit up here to give myself a lift. Because, well, gravity, we can all use a little lift. I also like a little bit on the tip of my nose, a little bit on my chin, right here. And of course, I'm going to hide those spots. The concealer is the Cashmere Complexion Concealer in Sugar. And I know you go two shades lighter to highlight, but that's as light as they come. So that's all I got. But it works. It actually works. So I'm going to apply concealer on top of setting foundation. I know, we don't normally want to do that, but we're going to do it. Now, let me make my eyes look flawless. Looking cakey yet? No, still smooth and flawless. So we have our concealer. Let's set it again. Why not? Like I said, so this is layer number five or six. Somebody should be counting for me. Anyway, so that's what we're looking for. We want it to look flawless no matter how many layers we have. And let's see. I also have another foundation. Same one, but in a dark shade. I got the wrong shades. Like I mentioned. So I'm going to use it to do a little bit of contouring. Um, because I'm at home right now, I'm not going to do this smooth, expert, great job. I just want to show you what it can do. So we're going to swirl the brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit of contour. Not a lot, just So the point of this is not to show you my contouring skills. I don't really have good contouring skills yet. I'm working on those. The point is to show you that you can actually use different shades for different purposes. So I've got a dark shade. I could return it. I could throw it out, which I'm not going to do because I don't like wasting money. So I'm just going to use it to do a contour. And if you have a shade that's too light, you can actually use it to highlight. Now. The one I got was the lightest, so I'm not going to use it to highlight, but a little contour is good. And it still does not cake, and it still feels very lightweight. So now, I'm going to give my face a little bit of color. Because foundations, especially when it's matte, can make you look kind of two-dimensional. Although this one, I think, 
is a soft, well, they mention it as a soft mat, so it's not too flat. It does have that soft color, which I really like, but I'm still going to get some blush. So I love these uh, cushion blush. I have a moisture cushion blush in pink. I just bought it too. Can you tell by the little sticker? So I love this because it's a little tap. goes a long way. And just dab it right where I want a little bit of flush. Like a natural looking flush. And I think I put on too much. Like I said, a little bit goes the wrong the long way. And that's blush. So if I think I got too much, I can always go back with my foundation if I wanted to. And let's take it down a bit. So layer number eight coming up. Yeah, we're still layering. Now, for the true test of time, because normally by now, you know you gotta wear these masks, right? And when you put them on, yes, they get warm. Your face kinda gets a little bit warm. And after time, your makeup starts to come off your skin. It seems to go away. So the idea of setting makeup is that, and I just said it quite a bit, but you set it so it stays on your skin longer and doesn't transfer onto your mask or your boyfriend your girlfriend your husband your wife wherever that may be and i thought i would try that but i'm not ready i want more layers so we're gonna do this my belief vdl aqua bomb glow moist fix and mist so this is a setting spray and we're gonna set more I'm just doing this to show you more layers, but this is gonna lock it in. So we're gonna do three sprays. One, two, three, to really cover it. One, two, three. And let it air out. Oh, where's the fan when you need one? Where's the cute cabana boys to fan me? There we go, we're done. Now we set the makeup. And I'm going to do the test of time, the mask. I'm going to put it on. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I got to wear the mask for a while. Now let's see if this transfers onto the mask after some time. By the way, I am at home. So... I can play with the mask too. Voila. Got a little bit of my lipstick, but none of my powder. So normally, this should be good. You put this on, you can do as many layers as you would like, and you're set for the day, including being in a mask. But I'm going to actually do something even more crazy. I'm going to do another layer because I'm going to show you how it does not cake at all. So should we do a wet or dry? Do, 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 do. Ah, let's do both. We're going to do a wet layer. Going to go down again. We're going to do, again, I'm just doing one side of the face to show you. A wet layer and and a dry layer right back in we go and dry and guess what it still does not feel heavy it still feels lightweight and it still does not cake not even on my super dry dehydrated skin take a look I'm gonna go close up and I'm also going to show you both sides. So my 
right side where we did, uh, so this would be layer eight, eight and nine, as we just did two, or nine and 10. So about that. I've lost count, so let's just say, here, a little bit more, we're even. We're for sure going with 10 layers. So 10 layers looking still like it's only a nice buildable foundation. Nobody can tell that this is 10 layers of foundation. And this side, which was a liquid foundation and set with the powder. I'll say it looks pretty even. It doesn't look like there's 10 on this side and one on this side, right? So normally, yes, you're not crazy enough to put 10 layers of foundation on your skin. I just want to show you that you can cake this on and it won't be cakey, if that makes sense. Basically, you could put on multiple layers and still not look like it. It just does not feel heavy. It does not seep into your pores. It does not clump on your skin. And best of all, it does not transfer. It stays on you. You can wear it to anywhere you like and your makeup stays on your face. It does not come off because it's hot outside, because your skin gets oily. It does not give you any shine, just a smooth, soft, matte finish. And you can definitely wear it with masks. And it's good for any occasion. So for those of you that have oily skin, you would love that it gives you that shine control. For those like me with dry skin, love that it does not look dry. And that is what we call a flawless finish. I hope you get one of these because they are so great. They're great on the go. They're great at home. No matter what coverage you want, no matter what skin type you have, you will love it. Thanks for joining me. So thank you again for joining me today. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Svetlana and I'm an Avon representative. And please click that subscribe button so that you can see every time I post a new video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because we all love those compliments. And if you're not new to my channel, well, welcome again and come back next time. Have a good one.